What's that white on my foliage? Is it a fungus? That's what gardeners want to know. It's also the topic of our two minute pest. Celeste and I have been out hunting and we didn't have to go far to find good old tea scale. Good old tea scale it hits certain plants, doesn't it? It's a pest of certain plants and yeah. one of them is a camellia. That's what you've got And if you're on. growing camellias, you're going to have some tea scale. Uh, guaranteed. guaranteed. I think when the camellias came in in the 1800s, a tea scale came with it. The first thing I think you see is this yellowing on the upper side of the leaf. And then as it progresses, you, well, you would turn it over and see what's on Look the Look at bottom. all that stuff, that black and the kind of brown actually yeah, and white and there. Yeah, white just covered Look at that. Isn't snow. that covered heavy? I think they call it tea scale because it was probably on tea originally, and uh, camellia tea is a type of camellia was at one time. And then uh, what they're doing is sucking the juices out. That's why you got that yellow yep, one top piercing, there. Yep, sucking mouth parts. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And I've got it on the Burford Holly here. But if you turn it over, you don't see the, as much of the yellowing, very little yellowing, if at all. And this is just kind of starting out. If I just turn them over, there we go. You can see some white right down where my hands happen to be. Same thing, tea scale. And that's it's what's a key happening. pest of this plant, too. It is. It's a major pest of the plant. And here's what I find, Celeste. I find that if the plant is sheltered in some way, even yes. with the camellias, you're uh, more likely to have this. On the lower growth, too, On where the, it's, and it stays wetter, maybe longer, or it's protected. Or it's protected in mm -hmm. some way. That's cr uh, correct. Now, well, what are we going to do? I mean, when it's this heavy, what are you going to do? Well, when it's this heavy, I usually first try the most safe thing. So I use the horticultural oils, mm -hmm. and they do a good job on scale insects. But you have to get good coverage. And sometimes on a plant that's dense, it's hard to get good coverage. Getting underneath that plant means yeah. spraying it up under. You can't mm -hmm. turn the plant upside down. <laughs> <laughs> <You wish. laughs> so you have to go through and spray the underside. Yeah, they mm -hmm. also have some new systemic insecticides that you can put in the ground, see if they say uh, scale on the label. And they work good. They, they work, work good. good. makes it a lot easier on you and me, too. So if you see anything that's kind of white on the underside or that yellowing on top and white on the bottom, I bet it's T-scale. And if you don't know what it is, take it to your extension service. But uh, this is one that we do need to control.